Hi everybody. Welcome back to the table. So the view might look a little bit different. I have my new tablet, which is what we are videoing with. So you're quite a bit higher, but you should be over the painting um, and should be able to have a better view. So hopefully you like this experience better. I'm really excited about this painting we're doing today. Um, I'm calling it my sister painting. This one is actually going to be staying in my house, um, but it is going to be kind of a representation of me and my sister. So the colors we're using today are going to be um, aqua green, and the turquoise dye. We are using black paint today, so I went ahead and added some metallic teal to the turquoise dye because sometimes the black has a tendency to absorb this dye and you lose the coloration. So I'm kind of giving it a backup and a little bit more support to keep its coloring. Our Flow Acrylic Black, Flow Acrylic White, as well as this Color Shift Purple Flash and this violet color. Hopefully y'all can see that. Okay, so the reason why I'm calling it my sister painting is we are going to be putting a vinyl saying over it and it's gonna be, she is clothed in strength and dignity and she laughs without fear of the future, which um, is special to me because it makes me think of my sister and myself as well. So I'm combining our colors, which she loves purples, and I love, of course, the turquoises and the teals and the blues and all that. Um, we're using black as kind of a base with some white. And then we will um, be putting an owl on it because she loves owls, and I will be putting a pair of angel wings on it because I love angel wings. So I'm just going to kind of combine us together. So we are going to do that together. We're also going to use a little more unconventional painting method. So um, hopefully you like it. It is very much outside of the box. So hopefully y'all take some inspiration and see what you can come up with. Um, I wanna keep my stool over here so I can check periodically and make sure that we are still filming. Okay, so let me move this other chair back. Um, I'm gonna try and do everything on camera for you so you can see what I'm doing with the cups. We need one, two, all right, we're using 10 cups. The canvas has been prepped. I just painted over it with some black paint. It's this black, it's this flow acrylic black, just to seal it again, because we are using dyes and the canvas likes to absorb the dye color because it is a dye. Um, prepping your canvas also helps you retain your dye color. So one of the unconventional things we're doing, we are going to pour some black in these cups. I know, so unconventional right now, right? Alright, we are getting some black in the cups. So I just wanted to get a coat of black in all of the cups and then we are going to pour the black paint back into our large cup because I just wanted to coat all of the cups in black. Our color mixtures, Floetrol, water, and pigments. No alcohol, no silicone, anything like that. I have learned to really enjoy painting without it. Um, I think it, a lot of times it turns out better without the alcohol. Some people don't like cells. You still get cells whenever you add water to paint, um, even though some people think that's hogwash. Um, as you can see by proof of my paintings, you can still get cells. Okay, so, 
We've got the black in our cups. Let's go ahead and get some paint. We're not going to do the exact same thing in every single one of the cups. We are going to spread it out, spread the coloring around. And I really have no rhyme and reason. I'm really just kind of pouring into the cups right now. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to start my music. in every single one but just a little bit. Yes, we're dripping on the canvas and that's okay. you unconventional
Yes, there's gonna be a lot of paint left over, but yes, this paint will go into a cup and will be used as a base for something else. Always does. Once it dries and we see how it looks, I might not put any words on it at all. I might just leave it the way it is. Thank you very much for watching. I hope everybody enjoyed this technique. If you have any comments or questions, please let me know and I will do my best to get back to you. Please don't forget to hit that like button, share and subscribe, hit that little bell button so you know whenever I have new paintings that come up. I hope everybody enjoyed this. I will decide what I'm going to do once it dries. And as always, God bless.